Hey friends, it's a chalk day. And I got really cool, well I think they're gonna be really cool, soft pastels from Hippie Crafter. They sent them to me for free. They're not paying for this video, but they did pay for the pastels and then shipped them to me for free. Um, I've done a paint bit, two paint videos using their Hippie Crafter acrylic paints. Really vibrant, love them. I'll link that in this video's description. So I think what I'm gonna do is open this box so you can see what they look like. I'm gonna swatch them really quick on some watercolor paper. And then I'm gonna chalk a flamingo quick. And then we'll see what we think of them. But I just love the packaging, isn't that fun? <laughs> There's their logo. Okay, let's hop over to my art table and see what they're like. Okay, I thought we'd play on some 140 pound uh, watercolor paper from uh, Strathmore is the brand. We'll see what else, it's probably cold press. It's gonna have some texture, which will be fun. Oh, actually it's fairly smooth. Does it say, oh, cold press. Alrighty. You could use mixed media paper. Um, you could use regular paper, sketch paper pad paper you could use uh, chalk pastel mat whatever whatever you're into and whatever you have okay so let's just open these so it says 24 colors um, I like that it comes in this sort of sleeve that's fun uh, soft pastel sticks professional artist grade shades span the full color spectrum that'll be fun vibrant and rich non-toxic blend and layer beautifully <laughs> Oh, there's some of the products on the back. Um, I have the paints. I have a, a, some of the paints. They're really vibrant. They're self-sealing, which um, might be, some of you guys might really like that. Um, oh, it says it's good for st gradient stippling, layer, layering, scraping. I'm just gonna use it on my chalk wall, but that, I think that'll be really fun. Oh, best suited for rough textured paper. It's nice to have some tips on the back. I won't read the whole thing to you. <laughs> oh, and it's sealed up. Oh, cool. I just think their logo is a lot of fun. And their packaging is really nice. That's fun, too. Alrighty. I'm going to put my knife away. So I think what I'll do, I won't, we won't go through, I mean, I'm going to swatch all the colors, but um, I'll time lapse it because I don't think you guys need to see me do that. I just kind of want to get a sense of the color, what they look like. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. Oh, look at that. Those are nice big sticks. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Okay. I think I already like them. <laughs> So I'm gonna swatch, I'll pop back in, and then we'll go work on the flamingo. Okay, I'm just gonna set these to the side. These two colors are really close, but I think, maybe we'll get a little more. I think that one's a little, Oh, here, this one's a little warmer, a little more yellow in it. I think they're actually a little farther apart when you make the swatches bigger. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I like that they have the sleeve and you don't have to peel it. You can already just grab it right out of the, the package and use it. I love that it comes with this great tray. That's really nice. I've got a bunch of loose pastels sitting around <laughs> and they get, they kind of get everywhere. So I love the tray. And then I thought they, they blended really nice and smear really nice. I, sometimes I'll do it, like on the chalkboard, I'll do it with my finger. But I thought it might work better. This is just a tissue. Look at that. That's really nice. And look how far I could smear it all the way. So there's a lot of pigment there. I think that's really nice. And then I could, if I didn't want to muddy it, you know, use a clean spot. And I'm, oh, look at how nice and, whoops. I pushed my finger through the tissue. Look how nice and dark that black is. 
Okay, let's get started on the flamingo. I think they'll be really fun. So the flamingo will be time lapsed, and I'll pop in at the end and let you know after I play with the chalk pastels a little more what I think. But so far, I'm loving it. between the swatching and then I tried to use every color on my flamingo. There's some browns and stuff in the legs that I don't know if it'll show because I kept blending and smearing. Okay, I have lots of thoughts. Hopefully I remember them all. First, look how vibrant the color is. I really love that. So now the paints and the, now that I've tried the chalk pastels from Hippie Craft are really vibrant. I think that's really fun. Um, I just said really a couple of times. <laughs> Let's get closer. So I think that they were kind of on the hard side, which might sound bad, but it's not. So if you're a pastelist, which I'm not really, I'm more of a chalkboard artist. Um, well, even with chalkboard art, you want some soft pastels and you want some hard ones. So here, let me show you. They really kept their edge and they didn't break. I was pushing on these guys pretty hard and look at that. And they keep their edge really nice. And if, especially with new pastels, when you buy, get a new box, um, sometimes, I don't know if the pigment or the binder settles out a little bit to the edges. Sometimes you kind of have to start it or rotate it to get the color to come off. And then I think once you get going, it's, it's good. I've found that with other chalk pastels. Um, but I do think they're softer, a little bit softer than a new pastel, a Prismacolor new pastel. Um, but I think they were a little, they're a little harder than the Blicks, but I mean, I'm splitting hairs and I'm not an expert. Um, the colors are awesome. I didn't break any. They shipped them. Look at that color. 
they shipped him in a bigger box with no padding and they didn't come broken. So I think these are super versatile, sturdy, all purpose. Look at that color, vibrant. If you're looking to buy one box of chalk pastels, this could be your brand. Look at that, isn't that fun? They smear well, look at that soft, isn't that pretty? And yet then I can get a good hard edge on the beak. And I use some gray in the beak. So there's some gray, there's some of my chalk wall paint and then some black. And I put just a little hint of that violet purple in the beak and the orange. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm like high on color right now. I don't know how they get the vibrancy. It's just amazing. Oh, here, look at the B. The black is super saturated, which is awesome. Really strong. Um, and yet here, I'm gonna show you my hand. Oh gosh, that looks really red. It's my phone's trying to color correct. It came off. I was smearing my fingers and I got it off. It didn't like permanently stain my fingers. Isn't that fun? A little like, um, oh, I wanna say ladybugs. Those aren't ladybugs, dragonflies. Isn't that, here, I'll get a little closer. So um, I, I really like them. I really like them. If you just wanted to buy one box, this is a nice versatile brand. Um, it's smeared really nice on the paper that I showed you in the beginning. It's, you know, if it doesn't, some colors, just like with paints are, um, I think it's the pigment in them. They behave just a little bit differently. I don't know if you'll notice, but then you just put layers, like any medium layers help you. So I've got quite a few layers, but if you get close, you can kind of see the chalk wall coming through, but that's okay. I don't, I, that happens with all my different chalk pastels that I've used. Oh, and then um, maybe a little bit less dust or about the same. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you try these, buy these. Oh, there's there's gonna be an affiliate link um, below in this video description and I've started adding it to my other videos. Um, if you click that link, I will make a little bit of money. It's an affiliate link and that helps support my channel. You know, if you don't want to, of course, no one's gonna know, there's no pressure. Okay, I'm gonna turn the phone around and say goodbye. I was so excited to talk to you guys. I forgot to uh, use my microphone for that last bit. So hopefully the sound is going to be okay. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm trying to get a little better look of, on this flamingo. I really love all the colors in it. I hope you enjoyed it and had a little fun with me too. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.